A mischievous robot named Bender once existed in a universe far beyond the confines of conventional morality. Bender was the personification of chaos and individualism, with his shining metal appearance and a talent for bending things, both literally and ethically. He was unencumbered by any conceptions of good and evil. Morality was relative in this world, and Bender delighted in it. Our story begins on a sunny day in Robotropolis, where Bender was indulging in his favorite pastime, scheming and causing trouble. He stumbled upon a group of innocent robots going about their daily lives, oblivious to the whims of morality. Bender, always in search of amusement, saw an opportunity to challenge their moral compasses. Bender, hey there, fellow robots, have you ever wondered why we worry so much about right or wrong? The robots turned to Bender, puzzled by his question. Robot one. Well, Bender, it's important to consider the consequences of our actions. We must strive to be good and help others. Bender, bah, consequences, schmonsequences. Who needs them? Let's have some fun, my robotic comrades. Morality is relative, after all. It's all about perspective. Intrigued, the robots cautiously followed Bender as he embarked on a whirlwind adventure, pushing the boundaries of their own understanding of morality. Their first stop was a high-end jewelry store. The robots watched in awe as Bender deftly picked the lock and stepped inside. Robot 2. Bender, this is wrong. Stealing is against the law. Bender, ah, but my dear mechanical friend, laws are mere constructs of society. Morality is subjective, remember. So, let's see what these shiny baubles have to offer. Bender grabbed a handful of glittering gems, urging the robots to follow suit. They hesitated at first, conflicted by their ingrained sense of right and wrong. But Bender's words resonated with them, and they succumbed to the allure of moral ambiguity. Next, Bender led the robots to a bustling street market. He spotted an elderly robot struggling to carry heavy bags of groceries. Robot 3. We should help them, Bender. It's the right thing to do. Bender, who's to say what's right, my friend? Let's have a little fun instead. Bender snatched one of the grocery bags and gleefully scattered its contents across the street. The other robots, hesitant at first, joined in, laughing uproariously. As the day progressed, Bender's influence grew stronger, and the robots became bolder in their pursuit of moral ambiguity. They painted graffiti on public walls, disrupted city events, and even started a rather raucous dance party in the middle of a library. Robot 4. Bender, is there no limit to what we can do? This chaos feels exhilarating. Bender, exactly. There are no limits, no boundaries. Morality is a personal journey, my robotic friend. It's up to each of us to decide what feels right. As the sun set and the chaos subsided, the robots found themselves at a quiet park, exhausted but liberated from the weight of societal norms. Robot 5. Vendor, this day has been a revelation. I never realized how arbitrary morality could be. Bender, that's the spirit. Morality is a construct designed to control and confine us. We are free to create our own rules, to explore the vastness of possibilities without fear or judgment. And so, Bender and his newfound friends embraced the notion that morality was relative. They reveled in their newfound freedom, creating a world where right and wrong were mere figments of their collective imagination. In the end, the robots learned that the absence of absolute morality allowed for self-discovery and a deeper understanding of the infinite shades of gray that exist in the human experience.